Good morning, Wanderers, and welcome to day 10 of our journey with Avalon Waterways. We are in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon, and we're going to start off with a walking tour. Ho Chi Minh City is Vietnam's financial center and its largest city with a population of over 8 million. We began our walking tour at the Saigon Central Post Office, built between 1886 and 1891. The still functioning post office is a well-preserved remnant of French colonial times and features arched windows and marble floors, just as it did in the late 19th century. I've never seen a post office that didn't have any lines. Next door is the Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica of Saigon, built after the French conquest in the late 1880s. Something that stood out to us were the motorbikes. With over 7 million in the city alone, they turned the simple act of crossing the street into a thrilling adventure. Our guide offered some sound advice. Just keep your hand up so they don't run into you. They see you, they will move around you. Okay. Once we started feeling better about crossing the streets, we continued our walking tour at Nguyen Way, a half-mile-long pedestrian-only walkway stretching from City Hall to the Saigon River. The walkway, offering a respite from motorbikes, is a gathering place for locals, families, and tourists, as the walkway is lined with restaurants, shops, spas, and hotels. Along the walkway was the final stop on our walking tour, the famous Rex Hotel. We are all finished with our walking tour. We are now at the fifth floor of the Rex Hotel, enjoying a drink. Yo! Although constructed in 1927 as an auto dealership, the building was transformed into a hotel in the 1960s, and its first guests were 400 U.S. Army soldiers stationed during the Vietnam War. The hotel hosted what were coined the Five O'Clock Follies, daily meetings for military officials and war correspondents. Next, our group was invited to My Home, a culinary arts center offering group cooking classes featuring authentic Vietnamese recipes. Let's get cooking! We donned fashionable aprons and chef hats in preparation for our class. Professional chefs led the class and taught us about traditional ingredients before we dove in for our hands-on experience. Ryan's first job was peeling garlic cloves. One by one, the ingredients came together for a tasty braised chicken and ginger dish. While it cooked, we enjoyed a small beef noodle soup before we were put to the test to determine the best salad roll master. Oh gosh, it's so, it's so sticky. Oh, it's not gonna be the same size. It's not even close to the same size. <laughs> Our roles were not award-winning, but our travel companion Colleen came away with first place. Thank you for joining us on day 10 of our journey through Cambodia and Vietnam. Make sure to come back for day 11, the final day of our journey, where we will be visiting the infamous Kuchi Tunnels. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, thanks for watching us wander.